Our data world is never perfect, right? The data comes in all formats and like we have to do all kinds of cleanings, transformation, and that's the whole point of having a Power Query editor, right? Because Microsoft knows that the data is never perfect and we have to do all the cleaning, all the transformation in Power Query editor, right? Before we report on the data set. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add your own custom rows in your Power BI table, okay? As you can see over here, there are two custom rows, four row number five and four is, are the custom rows that I just added to this table. The table's original data source is a SQL table, right? If you have a data source such as Excel or text file, you can manually adjust yourself in a data source level, just add a new row to your Excel workbook or worksheet, okay? But if you are using a SQL table or some data source that you don't have access to, you can't edit the table, and you already have a data set and you want to report as soon as possible, this is what you're gonna do is add your own custom rows. For in this case, I have three branches, location one, two, three, southwest and east, and I want to add a new branch four, and the name of the branch is gonna be north, okay? And that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna do, show you in a two, two ways, one's for beginner, one's for non-beginner. Then the beginner is gonna be pretty simple step, uh, but it's gonna take a uh, two or three steps, okay? Whereas the non-beginners is just going to be one single step, okay? So let's start with the beginner one. As a beginner, what I would do if I want to add one or two rows over here is what I'll do, I'll just go select the enter data first, okay? In the enter data, you can create your own custom table, right? So go write your name, make sure it's exactly the same, even the cases as well, because it's case sensitive, okay? Because the next step is very important for our next step. For let's say address anything and go add a uh, name, okay? And that's gonna be north and select okay. And it's gonna create a new table for us just with just one row that's just we created, okay? Now what I'm gonna do, what's a beginner, you can do just go here, the original table, go append queries, that's gonna append the table you just created, to select the table you just created and go okay, and that's gonna add a new row to a table. So basically we are appending two tables. But why do it like this? Why create a new table and append it when you can do it in a single step, right? And that's what I'm gonna do, show you in my next step. So let's delete this step. Now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna add here without using the table, I'm gonna add my own rows, okay? So let's go to the advanced editor. I'm gonna be using a mQuery function. So first thing, I'm going to add a new step called say new step, okay? And it's gonna take, it's gonna use a mQuery function called table.insertRows as the name suggests, okay? And it will insert rows. So it takes three parameters, a table, offset, and rows as a list. Table is whatever the output was before so because we want to add a step over here add a rows to that table right so let's go rename columns okay rename columns one is was our previous step and the offset is the index okay so where do you want to uh, add the rows where do you want to have the rows at you want to add the top rows then add zero or you want to go second row go one and so on so let's start let's write zero if you're not sure just add zero it's going to add it at the top uh, top index, uh, sorry, the top position, okay? So zero, and the next step is to just add our rows, which is within the curly braces, we're gonna have a square brackets, and if you wanna add more than one row, just add more square brackets and so on, but let's just add one rows, okay? And similar to the previous step, what I'm gonna do is just within the square bracket, I'm gonna write the column name. So I want a location of value uh, four, right and i want address which is our next column of value anything okay and i want a name of that the next column the name column to have a value north okay and now what i'm going to do is the new output of this power sorry the query is going to be a new step okay and if i press done it's going to add a new row at offset zero which is four whatever the address and the north, okay? If I put, so zero, one, two, three, if I write it three, it's gonna add the row at the 
at the uh, end right at the bottom so if I want to add another row here so what I'm gonna do is just copy that square brackets that whatever is within the square bracket and go add a just copy and paste and if I want to add say five it's the same address and go ASDF ASDF done and it's gonna add another row as well so you can just do it in one single step rather than having you to create a custom table and then append it to the original table and so on so that's everything for today i hope you guys like this video please do subscribe to my channel if you want to learn more about power bi i've got all kinds of tricks uh which it, it, maybe it's a uh you want to learn about some visualization tricks or m query tricks and so on and so on please just do subscribe to my channel and please uh support my videos your support really encourages I always encourage me to add more videos and that's everything for today. I'll see you next time. Thank you very much.